Okay. Okay, let's try this again. I was going to play a song, but apparently I can't play anything. I'm too pissed off. One, I got in an argument with someone today. I was going to motherfucking kill him. And the other one is this drummer, this flaky-ass drummer that I got. I was going to pay for the rehearsal time and pay him 40 bucks to come up and play and jam so I could get these couple of songs done because I can't seem to work them out on my own. I figured if I had a drummer, maybe he could, you know, throw a few ideas up or do a beat that I'm not thinking about and that would, oh, you know, finish the two songs. So he said he would do it. The guy's an old bastard. He looks like Elvis Costello. He's a liar. So I called him yesterday to schedule the time because I went down and found a studio, $21 an hour. Blah, blah, blah. I tell him I'd pay for everything, give him the money. He said, no, I'll be looking on the, you know, I've decided it should be $100 per song. $100 per song. I only got two or three songs. I'm not going to pay this dickhead $100 a song. What an ass. But he thinks it's, you know, just in case I screw him out of royalties if I use his track. I'm not going to use his track. His track is going to be a scratch. Oh my gosh, drummers drive me nuts. If there's any drummers that live in Southern California or anywhere we're around here that's willing to come up here and just jam for a couple of days, I'll cover the cost of the studio, of the rehearsal place. It's got a full drum set, a Marshall, an amp. It's got everything. I got a bass player to, ready, too, but my gosh, drummers are idiots. I friggin' hate them. Friggin' hate them. One of the best drummers I played with I've ever played, well, JD was probably the best. The other one was Daz, a guy that was in Paradise. He was in my band first, Stiletto. And he was very good drummer, very good. But, uh, you know, everything gets... Hollywood will eat you up and spit you out. And it would spit out more people than I can even count. And it's still killing people. I still have friends that have, cannot shake the addictions, the lifestyle, whatever. And that's why, you know, when I talk about this crap, you know, it was fun, but it was deadly fun. And you think, well, how can you just be, you know, partying and, and playing music and, you know, partying, drugs. Look at all the people dying of fentanyl. A lot of people were dying of uh, heroin and uh, heroin overdoses or cocaine, where they just do so much coke, they're friggin', they'd have a heart attack. Shit, that almost happened to me once. I, I hate cocaine. I hate it. I hate it. But I drank a lot, and I had to stop doing that. Been clean 21 plus years. Never again. Never. Ever. I have no desire to even do that. I mean, if you guys, whoever is out there that can have one beer and set it down and be cool, good for you. I can't. I need 100 beers at least. <laughs> so that drummer just screwed everything up for me because I was going to have those so I got to do the songs on my own and it's pissed me off so much plus the other son of a bitch that pissed me off today that I'm fired up and ready and I'm going to finish these effing things just like I've had to do with everything else in my life when I went to audition for London and a couple other crappy ass bands in the beginning Right out of, you know, high school, I became a father. I had to put everything on hold for a year. Then my first wife said, you know, go out there and audition. You know, this is what you want to do. I auditioned for tons of, including London, where Lizzie Gray just sat there. Play something in A. And the drummer was Fred Corey. You know, the guy, Cinderella. So we jammed, and everybody, he had all these yes men. He had a management, he had... Uh, production guy and all, and they're like, this guy's perfect. Look, he, he looks great. I mean, the guy, look at his bin, he can play, and da da da. And he's like, okay, who's next? And I'm like, D I don't need this shit. Later. And I came home and I decided, son of a bitch, I need to start my own band. And that was not easy. It was not easy, because then you have to, the recycler, 
is just like Craigslist, filled with idiots. So, <laughs> if you're a drummer and want to come up and jam, let me know.
You got a bit in there, you stupid drummer. We could have had it done. And the other one is. I got to figure out the other one, which is uh, another version of Eternal Darkness. <laughs>
Eternal Darkness. Done without Sam the Dick. Of course, it's not totally complete, but that's it. That's basically all I wanted. Those two songs with a fucking drummer doing this fucking shit. Getting tired of that. <laughs> I swear I'm ready to just... Oh, poof! Oh, I, I gotta get out of town, so... There you go! There's the two songs. <laughs> I've got... Let's see. One, two, three. They're, they're all done. So they're done. I'm done. As far as this horse shit... Your first song is... Live fast, die young, drunk and disorderly. But they're switched around to where it's not uh, glorifying. It's, you know, that you will die. And then it goes into Creeping Sensation, Eternal Darkness, Deceiver, uh, Rock and Roll Legend. Uh, there's another one called Hold On and Long Go Far Away. And there's two I'm, I'm niddling around with. Either I'll show you which I don't think I'm going to do. It's uh, I'm going to do Run For Your Life and redo Bloodsucker, which is Night Stalker, which is X-rated, which is, has been named a bunch of stuff, but I'm going to do that song instead. So they're done. That's 10. 10, and it'll be out on CD Baby. That's it. See ya, baby. <laughs>